Alrighty guys, welcome back to video number 16. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and connect our database to our HTML with PHP. And this can be tricky, so I'm gonna try to go really slow. And I have a series of tutorials on introduction to PHP and MySQL. And in those videos, we connected our HTML to our database with PHP. And I'm gonna use almost the exact same code and variables from the video and introduction to PHP and MySQL as I'm going to use in this one. So first things first is I'm going to make a little bit of adjustments on our content.php page because I don't want it to look exactly like our faculty.php page. So I'm going to take out some code and add some CSS. So I want our what we're going to pull from our database to go into our nav. So I'm going to take, I think, let me look at my TDs, close that out. Let's look what we're dealing with here. I'm going to take all this out. Content.php, let me double check. And yeah, open, close, open, that's closed, here's one, two, okay. So I need to create some CSS for our nav uh, CSS ID tag, because I don't think we did that. So I'm gonna open up our style.css. Let's go ahead and open this up with our text editor. And let's go ahead and create an ID for nav. And what do I want to do with this? I'll go ahead and just give it a width of 100 pixels. I don't know, give it a height of 500 pixels. Give it a background of, I don't know, white, just because it's a tad bit different color from the background in our content. Margin set to zero because I don't have a reset file. And uh, padding zero all around. <sighs> Excuse me. So go ahead and save that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our database in here. And if you have no, if you've never done this before, there's five steps we need to do. We need to create a connection in PHP. We need to select a database in PHP. We need to perform a database query, which is ask our server a question in PHP. Our fourth step is use the return data, and then our fifth step is we need to close out the connection. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the code that we already had from the previous videos. So you guys might wanna pause this video and slowly go along if you do not already have that file. So let me go ahead and add the first step, which is create the connection. And I made a comment right here create the connection I just called this I just I called the variable connection here's the PHP MySQL function where our, our server is localhost our username is root and we did not set a password and let's go ahead and select a database the database that I selected is called Sterling looks good so far Let's go ahead and ask our database a question. And we're going to pull one of our tables out. And I want us to go in between our nav opening tag and then our closing table tag. No. Let's bring this further over to the left. That's why I look at my gold on the ceiling. It's over there. Let's clean this up, make it a little bit more pretty, prettier. Let's go ahead and use this data with this while loop all within our TD, our table tag. Whoop. Nope. Hopefully you guys can follow along. So we have we're asking our database a question right here. We're stealing everything from information. We're pulling it out into two rows. And let's go ahead and close our connection out. So we'll put that underneath the footer when we're all done. And that is PHP. I'll just type this one out. Give it another comment. Close connection. And the PHP function that we use is MySQL underscore close. And what did we name our variable? I believe it was connection. Let's go ahead and save this and pray that there's no errors coming back. Content reload. Oh, that 
kind of worked. Our CSS is funky, but it pulled our information from our database. Let me go ahead and clean the CSS up a little bit. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to make it simple, and I'm just going to create our height to be 100%. Sorry about that. Let's look at it now. That I can deal with, but we don't have a navigation. We don't have our navigation bar anymore because we took that information out and we created this right here to pull our information out from our database called Sterling. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and add this. Um, we'll get some padding up here too. Oh, that's because we gave it 10 top padding. I can live with that. In the next video, we'll go ahead and bring our navigation bar back out into our content.php page. So let me know if you guys have any.